Hey folks, John Lake Loon Outdoors out here at Lake Alice in Tomahawk, Wisconsin doing some ice fishing and snowmobiling. Figure I'd give you a quick review on this 509 Delta R3L Ignite helmet that I've had for two years and I use it summer and winter. Summertime I use it on my, uh, my BMW dual sport that I've got and wintertime obviously snowmobiling. I'll give you a quick overview of what I like and don't like. So, uh, first thing that I do like on this is obviously the Ignite. That shield is not on here. That red shield is off. I got the clear on. So, popping on and off super easy. Click the guy on the side, comes off. Also, changing your internal visor out. This guy right here, easy as well. You just grab each side, pull it out. So, I can swap out my lenses depending on like what time of day I'm doing or if I'm snowmobiling or if I'm dirt biking, whatever. Whatever time of year, I can adjust for what I need. That's good. Fit is absolutely excellent. Functions great. I do have a Cena system on here, so I'm working with having those earphones on the inside and the boom mic. Don't have any issues there, except for a little pinch sometimes if I don't have it set right. Uh, this this little protector here helps keep the snow out. Really good for cutting the wind for this stuff up in here. And for your, uh, especially where your zipper comes to the top. That's been pretty good. This little guy in here doesn't really do anything for you. It doesn't really keep the sun out of your eyes, but it looks cool, I guess. Other than that, uh, the dislike I have on it is going to be when I'm snowmobiling. Um, so if I've got the internal visor up like it is now, and I'm driving along and I want to change, bring my visor down for whatever reason, when I'm tootling along and I bring the visor down, sometimes that internal visor will be fogged up from being up inside the helmet, just from it being cold outside and hot on the helmet. So in order to get rid of that, you've got to crack the face shield and let it clear out the fog, and then you can close the face shield and keep going. So that's just something to be aware of. Obviously, go to MX style helmet and just wear goggles. You won't have that problem. That brings me to the next point. What's really sweet about this, because when I'm doing dual sport, can't be uh, running running with this little guy on here because the, all the dirt and dust still gets inside the helmet. So what's sweet about it, pop the shield off and put your regular MX goggles on. And then you have no cords attached, keeps the stuff out of your eyes, and you can just rock it. Same thing in the winter. Because it has the breath box, you can still use goggles if you want instead of a heated shield. So it gives you all the versatility. Um, but with that, if you have glasses like I do, wear prescriptions, you have to deal with fogging on your glasses. It doesn't matter what brand you have, it's going to happen. Uh, so with that, you got to, uh, when you're running it, you got to leave it cracked open like this. Let it defog your glasses, and once your glasses are defogged, then lock it shut, and you should be good to go. Because at that point, the, the shield is fully heated and it keeps your glasses from fogging up any further. So, pretty good. But yeah, two years down, I'd buy it again. It's been a good helmet. I really, really like the versatility. So, questions, comments, shoot me a line. Thank you.